Why, hello there, buddy. How you doing? Cody, do you know what day it is? It's a very special day. No, we're not going outside. We're not going for a ride. No, we have a special day every week, but this week is extra special. This is special just for you. It's your birthday. Cody, did you know you're eight years old? How crazy is that? You're eight. Eight, big boy. What's up, guys, and welcome back to another episode of Super Goober Sun! Gotta go find something. You're eight, buddy, you're eight! Oh my goodness, go crazy, you're eight! That just makes you wanna grab a duck and squeak it, huh? Is this e an Easter duck? Easter duck and squeak it. Is that all you got? Oh, nope, there's more in there. What's up, guys, and welcome back. And that's right, this week we are celebrating at Coda's eighth birthday. It's crazy to think about, kind of almost a little bit sad. How are you feeling about it? sad and nostalgic. Yeah. So he acts like he feels good. So. so, so many great years that we've had together. And really like for his breed, eight is, is getting up there. He's getting to be an older boy. But as you guys have seen over the past few years, as we've been figuring out his medical issues and allergies and stuff like that, I honestly feel like he has more energy than ever. So we're just going to keep on going. Isn't that right, buddy? No, no sign of stopping anytime soon. So you're a good boy. I can't wait to celebrate. Coop, don't you worry. You're going to enjoy today just as much. You guys know for birthday celebrations, we've had all kinds of crazy ones from trips to the island and inflatable water parks and making cakes and all kinds of stuff like that over the years. This year, we thought about doing that, but then we were like, what would Coda actually like the most? Like, what would he appreciate the most? What would he enjoy the most? That's a movie night with the family. This right here is his kingdom. He loves it. Every night that we can, that I'm not working extra late, we all hang out somewhere in here in some way, shape, or form, and he, he just absolutely loves it. But obviously, since it's his birthday, we're gonna do things a little extra special. You guys have seen us make some cool pillow forts and little hangout spots and stuff in the past. We're gonna be doing that even bigger and better than before and making some really special treats. So to start things off, we're gonna show Koto the, the flowers that we got him, only for him, very yeah. specifically for him, not for not for anyone else, you know, not not like, Chelsea's birthday was yesterday, but when she got these flowers, which were actually for him, he <laughs> was uh, very, very intrigued really by them. Likes them. Don't like them. Don't he like loves them. the flowers. Cooper likes to try to eat the flowers, but Coda loves the actual flowers. Coda, look, Here, Cody, look at this. A nice pink rose just for you. <laughs> Such a little sweetie. <laughs> Coda, I legitimately would have bought you flowers if I knew you liked them this much. <laughs> He's, he's got his whole head in there. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. And he likes the garland around the roses. I don't, know if that's, I don't know if that's safe for dogs, so let's just put that back in the... Best friends smelling the flowers together. What do you think, Bella? Oh, oh, she likes the garland too. What's up with the garland? I don't know what type of plant it is, but everybody <laughs> likes it. Dakota, can you please not? Okay, flower segment is is over. Coop, do you want to show them what we got? So you guys know in the past we went to Target a long time ago and we got like 50 pillows. We still have all of those. We also got a couple of small like camping mattresses and then some little like blankets and stuff. We decided to go all out here. So I measured this space. This is pretty much exactly the size of a king size bed. So as you guys can see, Coop is, is trying to get this out. This is a memory foam topper. It is the four inch version. It is extra expensive. Normally they're two inches. This is the four inch version, king size. So the entire thing is gonna be four inches of memory foam. Coop is working on our next piece here. So this is gonna be a king size down comforter, which looks pretty amazing. Or actually I think this, this is the comforter. And I think this might be the sheet set. Wow, buddy, what do you think? It's kind of stinky, isn't it? Coop is setting up the blankets for us. Good job. Look at that, Coda, do you see it? It's memory foam. <laughs> good boy, Coop, you're doing a good job. Give him one end and then you take the other. Off the mat. 
12 pillows, four inches of memory foam, two down comforters, and two good boys. This looks to be about the most comfy place on earth. Koopy, you're really hamming it up here. Oh yeah, and there's, there's a cat here too, but she's just far enough away and she's not actually looking, she doesn't actually want to be involved. Wouldn't want you guys to think that she actually loved them or us or wanted to be a part of the family. She's just close enough. It's just coincidence that she's here. Right? She, she's been there the whole time. She, she totally wasn't just watching us from the top of the stairs and walked all the way over here, were you? No, just coincidence. This is all completely unprompted. This is just, just him vibing. Just him doing his thing. <laughs> look at that smile. <laughs> you look crazed. This is what four inches of memory foam does to a Great Pyrenees. Never go full four inches. So I guess we're just gonna have to have a permanent memory foam mattress set up in the living room now. <laughs> What in the world is going on with these two? Like I said, we, we could give Coda the world, spend tons of money, do something crazy, taking him places, buying him things. Cuddling is literally his favorite. As everyone knows, the best part of the movies are the snacks. Somebody's already got their eyes on them. But um, anyway, we've got some human snacks here. We picked up some dog cookies today. These are chocolate and peanut butter, carob and peanut butter. We've got some chicken fries in the oven. You guys know our boys love chicken. We also bought a popcorn maker, which I've never used before. I'm very excited about. Dogs can have popcorn in moderation. They shouldn't really have it with all the salt and butter on it. So we'll probably do some like basic popcorn to start, let them try a couple bites. And then we even got them actual dog popcorn like the, these are these are like real dog popcorns it's not like human popcorn so we're going to try this out in the microwave and with all those yummy salty snacks of course we're going to need a drink to wash it down so we are going to make Koda his favorite watermelon slushies he's never had a watermelon slushy but he loves watermelon so it should be a good time oh yeah and we may have gotten a nice cat dinner if you know by chance she happens to want to be around the family, which she, she probably won't. She just so happened to be in the middle of the room within direct eyesight of what's happening in the kitchen. <laughs> Good boy. Totally an accident. Time to make the human popcorn. I'm so excited about this. Some oil on there, Coda. Now we put the popcorn kernels on there. Coop's looking at the ground, hoping you spilled some. <laughs> Coop, she's pouring it up here. She's not spilling. Whoa. This is pretty cool. <laughs> Go to tea. I'm surprised Koda's not freaking out right now. I expected full on protector mode to come in. Koda, do you not care that there's something popping in your kitchen? Look at this. Koda, we're under attack. Look, look, look up there. We're under attack by delicious food. Coop sees it. Coop's very hyped right now. Koda, look over it. You're, you're sniffing the wrong way. Oh, he sees it now. <laughs> they both immediately think it's gonna fall to the ground. What does that say about this household and how messy of an eater you are? Me? You you drop all the food. It's definitely never me. It's, it's definitely not me like 98% of the time. So we can't really figure out what we did wrong. This is supposed to make six servings of popcorn. Yeah. Just under half of the kernels actually popped and it started smelling like burnt popcorn. So I don't know if we used too much oil or too few kernels or what, but uh, not not the best bat. Also, she's here. But again, just happens to be passing by. Doesn't actually want to be involved. <laughs> it's good looking popcorn. It's probably really hot. How hot is it? Good popcorn, it's no butter or salt. Koopy, you, you want to try a piece of popcorn? Good boy. Dakota, do you want to try a piece? <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> Look at those little happy feet. <laughs> Don't look at her. Just happens to be there. 
So this is a new one. I'm actually really excited about this. Both checking the floor again. Look at these things. The texture, the consistency, literally perfect. Now typically you'd want to enjoy that with your salty snack. Unfortunately, we don't have the cleanest of eaters, so we're thinking maybe we do this outside right now. I would agree with that choice. Good boys. Look at that. Great summer treat. This is this is awesome. It's healthy. Yeah, I think it's making Coop eat slower because it's cold. <laughs> Good boy, Coop. <laughs> Just happened to be coming outside. Wasn't actually coming for us. Nothing to do with us. So this is legitimate dog popcorn. Like real popcorn in pouches that you put in the microwave. Yes. It's cheese based. Himalayan like yak cheese. So you can get it as a chewy. And they say when the chewy gets too small, you get it wet, put it in the microwave, and it like puffs up into a crunchy treat. So this is little pieces of that. Wow, that's pretty cool. That's your popcorn in there. You see it, Koda? You ready? Hopefully this is pretty good. Do I even need to say it at this point? But if I walk over here, she'll run away. Never too close, never too far. And she's already coming back. She's. Just on another level today. Good girl. Good girl. Okay. So just as a, a little side note, it doesn't pop like popcorn. No, the bag kind of expands. A but... little bit. It does not smell very good. <laughs> to them it does though. Good boys. Think about microwaving a dog treat and that's what it smells like. <laughs> you want to try it out right now? That is not what I was expecting. Should we try it? Yeah. See if he likes it. We gotta make sure it's not hot. Get it, Coop. So we popped a second bag here. These are bigger pieces. The second one's got a little bigger. They're very puffy and airy. Yeah. Like a pork rind or even like a Cheeto or something. If you told me this is a pork rind and I didn't smell it, I'd be like, looks like a pork rind. But it's like, there's not really anything to it. It's just like a, almost like a piece of, uh, like a packing peanut or something is kind of what it, it feels like. Oh, but it has such a satisfying crunch. Very nice crunch. <laughs> I heard someone ordered chicken fries and cookies. Was it the birthday boy? Good boy. <laughs> okay. You gotta you gotta be patient. Oh my gosh, I'm just so happy. He's so happy. Look at this face. He looks like a little puppy. A nice dog Oreo. Good boy. I think he wants the chicken fries more. Dakota! Dakota, Dakota, Dakota. <laughs> Can I interest you in a chicken? Oh wow. Okay. And one for your brother. Good boy. I think we're just gonna eat the rest. I think the rest yeah, are for, for you and I. They're my snack. <laughs> what happens if I took one of these and I ate it? The <laughs> Good boy. Oh! So you guys can see we've got a beautiful sunset tonight as the backdrop of our movie night. We've got a beautiful family and beautiful snacks yes. to eat. He's just sniffing. He's not going to do it. If you, if, you, if you thought he was going to take something, he's not actually going to take it. Sit down. See, see what happens. If you just put it here, see what happens. Just... <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> He's the birthday boy. It's okay. He's allowed to do that. Cody, you see all this doggy popcorn? You want some? <laughs> Face just fully in it. Coop, you want to try some too? Good boy. You can get it. <laughs> They're falling out of the bottom. So we're going to get them their real dinner with their real dog food. We're going to repop some popcorn for us. Get situated. Get laid down. Get a movie going. And we'll see you guys in just, just a little bit. He doesn't get the whole like relaxing and hanging out and watching shows together and not moving. You guys can see he has tried just about all the tricks he has in the book. Please don't. He's torn up all the pillows and moved them. He's brought all of his toys over. Meanwhile, our fluffy cloud tried to fight off sleep for about 30 seconds before ultimately meeting his demise. She's come by, oh no, don't do it. 
Oh, she got him up. <laughs> so she's gonna move on. <laughs> she's come by a few times, <laughs> done a few passes, but wow, never long she's enough. To such a little sister. Why would you do that? Oh. <laughs> hey, big boy. How are you doing? <laughs> that feels good. Also an update. The cat has joined us. Wow, that's quite the leg you have hanging off the edge here. <laughs> Very beautiful. Koopy has all but given up on his attempt at playing. I think he's finally starting to get the, the memo of what we're doing here. Yes, but just in case. Just, yeah, you always gotta, <laughs> gotta keep the ball near. <laughs> just like petted himself on you. Cool. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> the two neediest babies. <laughs>